Look how camouflaged. Ah, stupid shark. I need to color you. Look at this. Sir. We're coming out of the water like Navy SEALs. He wouldn't even know nothing. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. You know what? That entire song could be actually either used to describe some sort of uh, genital region type humor or this map because this map is pretty goddamn amazing. What are you? Yo, what's going on guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolve. Here I am on my Megalodon. This right here is the only bit of land I could find on the entire map right here to start my video. This is it. I don't even, you can't even get on top of it. It's just a giant rock sticking up out of nowhere, just kind of like from a mountain down below. This is the new underwater map, which is freaking insane, and once it's complete, will surely be amazing. I mean, it's already pretty damn amazing. It's just much like almost every map ever. It's still under construction. I mean, even Ragnarok's still under construction. They're still adding stuff. But this map is, tw it's like, I think, I'm, I, I'm not sure the percentage, but it is, it is pretty damn selexy already, and honestly, one of the coolest ideas ever. So, no, I am not copying Syntac by throwing on Cyan on everything. I know that's, that's, that's just what I think of when I see this much color in one place, the thing is Syntac. But it's mostly because I'm kind of envisioning this as somewhat of a PvP server, and an entire underground arc world. Look at this right here. This is just literally the tip of the iceberg. That's exactly why that expression exists right there, tip of the iceberg. But in an entire underwater world of PvP epicness, I feel like I'd want to be as watercolored as possible, you know? I mean, I, I, I feel like it's perfect. Alright, so off we go on another adventure down below to check out this map, which will surely be something major in our future. The main reason I'm covering this is because I, I covered the crap out of Ragnarok, so I thought it was the coolest map ever. I had no idea it was ever going to actually be like a, an official arc map. I just, I remember when that happened, I was like, holy crap, I've been, been playing on that, I've been covering that map for development forever, and now it's finally legit. So now when I see something I feel like might be finally legit one day, I cover it because I like to get my dirty little fingers on things first. Doesn't even matter. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> While we start this exploration, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more epic arc videos, or just generally because it helps me out a buttload. Alright, so I might have to change the color of the saddle. I feel like I'm directly copying Syntac as another YouTuber. I feel like we all need our own identities. I'm so afraid of copying people. I even hate changing my color to something that's his. Why, why am I saying so, it's because it's that's like your flag, you know what I mean? All right, now a few things while we begin our descent because I literally swam all the the, the underworlds. It's way in the hell down there. This is like the peak of the world. This is as far up as you could go right here. So this is like this. Yeah, this is we're swimming up from the peak of the world right now. It's actually insane how far down even even the regular land masses begin. And then once it gets into these ravines and everything, those go extremely far down, and you can go to the bottom of them. You can build your bases down there. You can be like, there's, you don't have to build your bases just all up on like the certain land. I, 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 just, I should just get down there first. But the idea behind this, now it didn't happen to my character. I think I need to clear my character or something, but there's, there's something I'm doing. I don't know. It's just, it just was not working. I did not become a mermaid, basically. It's like with the map expansion that you need with this mod, it also includes like the mermaid mod. Or the mermaid mod where it essentially gives you mermaid abilities. You can hold your breath for a billion times longer. I'm 99% sure. I don't remember reading that part, but it makes the most sense. You swim faster and everything. You're essentially merfolk. Not to mention your um your shizzle has been changed. Look, it's still everything still says uh I think it's is it thatch? Was it fiber? Yeah, everything fiber is seaweed right now. And then coral, I believe, is stone. Yeah, so you're gonna have like coral picks, coral hatchet. Right now the names and the 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 way they look, what am I trying to say here? All look the exact same still. But again, it is still very, very early in development. Yeah, everything made out of wood, it's spike, everything, because there's no wood down here. You're mainly going to be harvesting resources such as those for the most part, building your bases out of coral and shiz like that. Yeah, right now it's kelp, coral, and seaweed are the three main things we're looking to. Why does my head itch so much? Three main things we're looking to harvest right now in this world. That, I don't know why I have a shotgun. It's completely useless underwater. I don't even have swim fins on. It's because I felt s silly putting swim fins on because there's mermaid people in here and I just feel like an outsider. All right, see, so thatches, kelp right now. That's how you gather that. And then over here would be coral, I believe. Whenever I say coral, I just think of those Walking Dead memes like crazy. That, 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 and I dated a girl named Coral, but no, it's still the Walking Dead memes. Memes overpower everything. And that'd be okay more kelp i'm pretty sure you're supposed to be giving me coral too because i gathered maybe it's a different kind of plants i feel like i gathered one all right let's see your current features include coral kelp and seaweed kelp structures and coral structures and more future features new engrams through stone tier new resources scales sea sponge plankton underwater caves iceberg and many more yeah this place is gonna be freaking nuts all right so just a few things that i love about it already is i swam to the bottom of one of these ravines kind of seeing if it was just gonna kill me you know, like, why wouldn't it? We're going out of the world limit or whatever. 
it does not like you could go straight down to the very bottom of this bad boy and build your base at the bottom of a ravine which makes it a gajillion like what is this what is a random little hole in the walk right here this is exactly this is where i'd make my base right here at this little seaside butthole inside of the cliff you bet your butt i will look at that even more so obviously you could enter it from over there or something i'm gonna have to activate infinite stats on my shark just so we can swim fast forever See, over here there isn't creature spawning yet. There's a few biomes where there's many creatures spawning for sure. I just want to show you guys right here. My my deep sea people out there. Look at this. Look how deep you could go. You could build your base right down here. This is essentially where you'd want to build your base with, I guess, just every sort of defense aiming up. Because, I don't know, actually. You'd be a lot more low-key, but I imagine you're a lot more susceptible to attacks. No, but that's the thing about being underwater. Is you, it doesn't even matter. Whichever, wherever you are, they could come from every angle. You're in the water. Another thing that really excites me about this place is the possibilities. Every map I've seen, or at least all like the good maps so far, the good map, the, I don't know, the ones that put a lot of time into the map are having mod developers create custom creatures specifically for their maps. Many maps like, uh, well, Ragnarok had the freaking Griffin, but that's a lot more official. But how uh, Iso Isles has a lot of crazy custom dragons that you can't find in other mods. It's just kelp. It's, it's essentially turns Ark into some naughty. It is very pretty. My God, this is this is gorgeous right there. It's a nice little sea cave, underwater combats. The entire thing sounds awesome. I know for a fact that a lot of people out there would love to see some freaking underwater. That's that's there we go. Now we got some seaweed. That's that top of the line weed right there from the sea. Look at the little mushroom right here. What's going on? Okay, this so the so that's coral then. You're not mushrooms at all. You're just little bits of coral. Oh my God, it's perfect. But yeah, if this, if this map wanted to, it's literally, it's not that much at all. It's like, it's so freaking cheap once you purchase the creature and then just the manual labor to make the creature able to be in your worlds. I know of so many epic creatures that no one's been able to add to anything because they're all specifically sea creatures. So this week you get some like kraken sized monsters, just, I don't know, ridiculous kinds of crazy shiz in here. I'm trying to find another biome where a lot of fish spawn and everything, but it's a very big world. It's a vast world of ocean. Look, it's all labored by continents still. That's weird. I wonder if that's just like an, another map or if those would be the ravines and then everything in between the ravines is like what we're seeing. Right? I guess, yeah, those would be the continents. It's trippy. I am exploring most of this for the first time right now because that's how you explore things. Ooh, hang on. I don't know if this has always been able to be harvested in arcs. I never try and harvest like coral when I find it on the... When I find it on rocks and such, I've definitely never done that before. Is that, that, I don't know. I don't know if that's normally a thing. I just think it's freaking cool. You can just gather coral off like that. Because you're going to need to be gathering coral everywhere. Seeing as how you can't knock down trees or anything. Like, you're going to have to gather a lot of freaking wood. What are you? Is each different plant... Do they all give us different shiz? I think they all just give us a variety of seaweed and coral. Because seaweed is thatch and coral is wood. Oh, berries. Perfect. You can pick berries down here. That's awesome. Now, there is a few additions to the mermaid fo mermaid mod as well. I, I haven't played it because, I don't know, I just didn't I didn't know how it would fit into my world at all. Just swimming around as a mermaid, it seemed kind of ridiculous. Because, oh my god, look at that bubble over there. Let's go see what's going on with that bubble. But because, um, yeah, I guess you're just living off fish. I believe you're able to eat raw fish in the mermaid mod as well. Oh, because the Ark's waters are so, just there's barely any oceans, you know? It's like barely, barely any goddamn water going on. But in this map, the entire place is composed of water. Which would make the mermaid ball the most useful thing ever. It's literally an entire a megalodon, so there are dino spawns are very down as well right now, too. That'll be picked up for shizzle once everything is worked in. But look at this vast area right here, it just goes on forever. That up there, that's where we started the video. That's the only bit of land peeking out of the water. Is that a dunkle? Yay! That was too many megalodons. Yeah, you see, okay, freaking two megalodons, oh, three megalodons, two rays, a dunkle, and a jelly. That's barely any creatures for a direct line of sights. But that'll be turned up a lot. Sorry, what do we got going on over here? Goddamn racist, let me in here! Oh, wait, no, not, okay, so there is, there is regular land in there. All right, clearly, clearly that's where, um, that's where you go fight the, okay, so it looks like over there, that's, that's our little entrance, that little opening. This is cool right here. I was actually wondering how you'd have boss fights and such, unless you're just purely fighting the bosses with water creatures. But I don't know, I feel like dropping a Megapithecus in a lake and then fighting him isn't exactly a fair fight. Where is it? Oh, I think we've breached. I think we're inside this giant land bubble right now. Thank God, a use for shotguns. Jesus. All right, so this... Ooh, this would be a crafty place to have your base as well. What the hell? Well, I guess everyone would need to come through here eventually, though. 
You're gonna have a complete monopoly on who gets access to these things, though. You just need every freaking weapon and creature you have aimed right here. Okay, yeah, look, perfect, perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Look how camouflage. Ah, stupid shark, I need to color you. Look at this, so we're coming out of the water like Navy SEALs. He wouldn't even know nothing. Oh my god, Navy SEALs right here. <gasps> we could be that. That that would be what my tribe's name would be, is Navy SEALs for sure. Oh, I feel bad about that. Stupid, more vanilla-ish stats than I'm used to. I thought he was going to fight me and put up more of a fight. Oh, this is messed up. It, usually, it feels much better when it's purely in self-defense, but Riot Gear was clearly made to withstand saber attacks. Let's get a looky loo at what's going on up here. This land is huge. There's actually a lot of freaking creatures here. Holy hell, look at this. Okay, so we got sabers, carnos, argentavis, raptors. Generally, you're mountain-based carnivores, I'd say. I don't even feel bad about it anymore. Now I'm just a cold-blooded psychopath. Yeah, this is a great... So I guess you need to come up here. How the hell would you go about... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoopsies. Yeah, how would you go about... I guess unless you use a teleporter mod or something. But if you have an underwater base, how's your ass gonna... How are you going to get any of these creatures back to your base? That right there just sounds downright risky, if you ask me. Like, how are you even gonna pull that one off? What else do we got around here? This is gonna make certain land dinosaurs so much more rare. Like, it's so ridiculously rare. Then you're trying to find a sheep or a unicorn like this. Actually, I won't, it'd almost be a bajillion times easier now, I'm thinking. Because, um, there's, there's very little amount of land for them to spawn on, so they're going to be, a uh, they're going to be everywhere, you know what I'm saying? I love this, right? I've been watching so much Walking Dead, I had to walk around and shotgun something aimlessly. It was the only way I could go on living. Brah! Brah! That's beautiful right there. Gotta love that shotgun spread. All right, this is a good learning lesson right here. I mean, eventually this is gonna be full of trees, bushes, rocks, various, a T-Rex. Damn, there's even a T-Rex in here, actually. That's pretty damn cool. It makes me think everything's much more rare, too. No, I'm back to rare. Because there's one T-Rex in here. There's four little land bits you can use. Just, that's it. So, the odds of getting a T-Rex must be pretty damn thin, I'd say. If you can manage to get a T-Rex, I don't, I guess it's just gonna be a rush to be whoever owns the land. You can hurry up and cower us out. And uh, this shotgun is very powerful. You can hurry up and uh, just kind of abandon the waters. You know what I'm saying? I guess they can come up through any of here. You'd have to just aim all your turrets and cannons at here. And then you'd have a giant naval verse. Oh my god, that'd be epic. Coming up with like Mosasaur platform saddles just loaded with turrets and everything. Navy SEALs coming in hot. Look at that. Exactly. Exactly. You just exit through this little crevice of a schniz. Hang on, are you outside of the schniz? Where how the hell? How do you, okay, this looks like it's schniz related. And we've exited the little bubble dome of terror. Sweet, so that you guys are wondering how land that is, everything is going to be implemented here. How that's all going to think. God, I keep trying to swim with a megalodon, like how griffins fly and it's just not a thing. Griffins are just the best animal ever in this game by far. If anyone disagrees, you're wrong. It's a griffin. No, I'm just kidding. We're all entitled to our own opinions, and every creature is useful in its own way, shape, or form. I just love the way they fly. It feels like I'm literally riding on the shoulders of the Jeepers Creepers monster. Alright, now, because these developers are always looking for suggestions, which I, everyone is, even I ask you guys for so many suggestions on videos, because there's literally thousands of you, odds are at least 20 or 30 of you are creative geniuses, so if you have any... That's just, this is the way the world goes. I didn't even say I'm one, it's just, I might not even be one of them also. I don't think I am, so... <laughs> Look at this, it's moon rocks over here. But yeah, if you guys have any uh, 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 suggestions for stuff you'd like to see implemented in this sort of thing, any sort of deep sea resources that exist in real life that could be implemented into this game, any sort of creature you'd like, because they're going to really need to load up on sea creatures, because, I mean, look at that vast, the god's place is going to be crazy. This, you know, under warfare is going to be nuts, too, because so many weapons don't even work underwater. It's, it's going to be a bunch of psychos choking each other out in the shallows is what it's going to be. That sounds awesome. I'm not going to lie. I can't think of what I'd like to see, honestly. I mean, we're already merfolk. We can already swim faster, hold our breath longer. I mean, my character's not, but the rest of us are merfolk. You know what? My shark blends in perfectly, actually. You know what would be dope? If you could implement other kinds of bosses, but not even like to create, like, uh, I, I hate to copy other mods. Dino Overhaul X has the giant squid, which is essentially the Kraken. And not like the other Kraken. Oh, but y'all, you need both Krakens. You need both Kraken. Well, one Kraken is just the squid blown up like a thousand times bigger than the other Kraken's the actual Kraken. I think both of them were made like 20 times bigger and roamed this land. Actually, no, that giant squid is plenty big enough, but the other Kraken, make it 20 times bigger and roam the land. I feel like that'd be an awesome boss right there, because there's got to be bosses roaming. 
Dude, there's a Jurassic number. Jurassic. <laughs> there's a Jurassic Park number of creatures spawning around here. Oh my God, creatures! Holy crap! For the love of Christ! I don't know if it's possible to implement until Aberration comes out, but Tameable Fish. Tameable Fish. Actually, you know what? By the time this mod moves a little bit forward in developments, everyone's starting to think, by the way, that it's going to be early December when Aberration comes out. But in Aberration, you'll be able to tame fish, like fish, coals, piranhas, and such. Maybe once that comes out and then the the, uh, the the dev kit is upgraded, I mean updated, then we'll have the option to tame our own fish in this mod or just in any arc mod, truly, but this mod, I feel like, honestly, you need to, you need, you have to pull your own little, little mermaid situation. You gotta, under the sea, darling, it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me. You know what that entire song could be? Actually, either used to describe some sort of uh, genital region type humor or this map, because this map is pretty goddamn amazing. What are you? You're just reg- what are you, just fish? Just regular fish? Why'd I think they were plankton? I, I read that plankton was already in this and then I misread it. It turned out I misread it and it's not already in this. I'm super sad about that. So I, I really want to see what plankton looks like in here. I feel like plankton's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be Spongebob jokes out the wazoo. I hope Karen's with him. That bitch never supports his ideas. All right, this next part, I'm just gonna say it real quick. It'll take like 30 seconds and it's so freaking important. I've been saying, okay, I have access to this thing, this thing that I can't mention and that I can't, I can't say the name for it. I can't even hint at what its existence is in any sort of video form or it'll cause legal issues. But I can promise you that it is your favorite thing in ARK. If you're questioning, I don't think it's my favorite. No, it is your favorite thing in ARK, I promise you. What, at least in your top three, there's no doubt in my mind. And I streamed it this morning for like an hour and I'm gonna stream it because my survival series, I'm gonna be streaming each episode, but there's no evidence of the episodes. They're just deleted into the infinite mysteries of Twitch as, as I stream them. So it's, um, it's, I don't know, you basically have to catch the survival series live. I, I post on YouTube when I'm streaming, like I'm saying, like I'm streaming on Twitch, head over. This is what you gotta look out for. Oh, I'd have your resource gathering yeah, just picked up crazy because you're really gonna, well, one, you're not gonna want to harvest plants all the time, but two, those, that berry option. Look, they spoil as quick as you get them. But yes, on my streams and in my videos, I've been calling it kittens. In my, in the kittens I've been referring to, I, you guys just trust me, you, you want to see them. It's amazing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you otherwise if so. It's like, trust me, it's the best thing in ARC by far. And you guys just gotta try and catch my streams for it, because I wish, I just can't tell you what it is. I want to say it's so bad, but I can't use the words. I keep calling it kittens and it's driving me crazy. But yes, just trust me. Damn it, I can't say anything. I'm gonna get shot by the FBI. I'm still giving up way too much information. No, it's not the FBI. It's more the FCC, I'm not really, the Federal Trade, the FT something. I'm making things up now. This cave is amazing. Either way, for anyone who was already there, you know what I'm talking about. And you can vouch for me in the comments if you see people commenting and asking what's going on. Oh, narco berries. Two narco berries from that single bush right there. Yeah, we're going to need a bajillion times more goddamn bushes. <gasps> Perhaps there's some sort of underwater thing we can use. Perhaps like jellyfish poison or something like that. Or not jellyfish. Or jellyfish, yeah. Je or, uh... Or je jellyfish venom? Or jelly? No, poison. Wait, wait. Well, now I'm just confused about jellyfish and all things that are life and everything. But yes, even little sea snakes, because I know that even a, a additional creatures mod has little sea. There's there's little like you can buy them for like twenty dollars. These little models of these sea snakes slurping around. Kill one of them, extract the poison or the venom, whatever the hell those things are balling with these days, and use that as some sort of trank. I feel like that'd be an awesome way, because I feel like tranking has to be specific to the map. If you could change it a little, that'd be amazing. And there's a lot of sketchy stuff underwater that you could use to ring out even puffer fish, anything. Just ring the fish. Out, put the poison on the tip of a spear or a harpoon since we're underwater. Aha, uh -huh, see, so you gotta get all crafty with it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. I came up with my own little suggestion. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys have any more, make sure to comment them down below and yes, catch those streams because I can't say what it is, but it is the almighty epic shit. And what it is, it's been updating, it, it's been adding more stuff. It's been adding more monsters, you could say. So yeah, be sure to catch all those. If you had a good time watching, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace! It's time to get swifty in here.